Welcome back. In this quick and short presentation, I will explain incident management and supplier management. With many of our services being outsourced to third party providers, supplier management is an important aspect of IT service management. And if we were to consider the incident supplier management relationship, this is how typically it would look like. In the previous presentation, I have taken you through the incident life cycle, the incident work status, workflow status, and the various escalations. And one of the work status was that we have assigned the incident to the supplier. So it starts off when you actually assign an incident to the third party service provider or the supplier. Once you have assigned it, the supplier is supposed to acknowledge it. The assignment can be in the form of a mail going to the supplier or a SMS going to the supplier or any other form which has been mutually coordinated and communicated. And same is true with acknowledgement. Once the supplier has acknowledged the supplier could call you back asking for further details. It happens that what you have entered may not be adequate for the supplier to make a judgment call or understand what the issue is. And the supplier would call you back. And once he has called you back and has taken all the necessary information, he works on resolving the incident and you have Incident being resolved by the supplier. The supplier typically would have a facility to actually go and change the status to resolved. Once the incident is resolved as per the supplier, it is duty of the service desk to contact the end user and confirm that it has been resolved and request the end user to close the incident. And as we said that if the end user does not close the incident within 72 hours or after 72 hours after the resolved status, the incident would get closed on its own. So when it comes to a supplier, this typically is the chain assignment, acknowledgement, call you back from the supplier, the resolve and the closure status. The measurement of the supplier starts right from the time the incident has been <coughs> assigned to the supplier till the time it is resolved. Because at this point, the supplier's duty is over. And this is what would be an important input for calculating the supply metrics. In the next presentation, which would again be a quick and short one, I would take you to supplier management, contractual penalties, which I have seen are the best practices. Thank you for listening and we'll be back.